Hey guys, welcome back to the Florida Garden Escape channel. So here I am in our grow closet, as I call it. It's really our closet, but it's got our grow tent and everything in it. And this is where we grow our seedlings. You've pretty much seen the area before. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick update on our seedlings. As you've probably seen in our short clips here on our YouTube channel, the update we posted of the short short video of our seedlings our lettuce seedlings so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you our seedlings really quick here so as you can see it is our lettuce seedlings they are doing great I must say they are really doing great they do need some watering um, I do plan as you can see they're probably definitely big and they definitely probably need to go out and I'll show you a prime example on why they probably need to go out as you can see here roots are starting to shoot out so we definitely need to get these out this weekend now the only thing with getting these out this weekend we're supposed to get really cold tomorrow night so I don't want to stick these out there and then it get cold and then we lose all this so I'm gonna wait till Sunday to get all this out there I'm gonna go ahead and prep the areas that Saturday so that way all I have to do when I take these out there is pluck them in their hole and then get them all covered up water them make sure they're covered with their mulch and then they'll be good to go um, and then we'll do a whole video on um, what we do and what we add with our plants to help uh, boost them out when we transplant them in that um, so that way you guys see exactly what we're doing and how we're able to get such good and healthy plants and I'm just looking here, I want to show you guys. So this is going to be our ro our baby romaine lettuce. Um, as you can see, the leaves are a lot narrower. They're straighter compared to, like, for example, this one. This is going to be one of the Grand Rapids lettuce. Um, it stands more straight. Um, its leaves are much more ruffled. Um, and then, as well, this right here, as you can see, is a little bit more bumpy, has more ruffles to it. This is going to be the Grand Rapids lettuce. Um, it's going to have more bumps, more waves to it, and things like that. Um, compared to the Baby Romaine, it's just a straight, narrow leaf. Um, so that's going to be the major difference in how you can tell them all apart. Um, the Grand Rapids doesn't clump more together um, I have noticed that it doesn't really clump more together it stays just pretty much like this and what you do is as it grows you just pluck these older leaves now once this gets a little taller I can then pluck it and we're gonna eventually once these are all ready to harvest we're gonna do a whole video on where on how we harvest it as it grows and things like that um, but we're gonna wait to get everything transplanted out first and we'll do pretty we'll we'll go we'll do it together make it a whole good experience um, as you can see here my temperature is at 69 the humidity is at 56 percent this is a really good temperature um, lettuce is it, it it doesn't like the heat too much but it likes the cooler temperatures um, as you can see, not all my fans are going. Um, I do turn them on once it starts warming up more in the day. Um, I'm going to bump our heat up a little bit more so that way it warms up a bit more in here as well. And then the lettuce should be good because we try and keep the climates just like it is outside. Um, so that way they get a little bit more warmer because I like it a little right there at 70 degrees and they do pretty well in here at 70. Um, but yeah, that's our seedlings. That's our lettuce. Um, it is looking great. I I do like what we're seeing here. So, and now it's just time for it to go out. And then we're going to do also a whole video. Um, how I get the, so many seeds to pop. Because I get my seeds just like anybody else does. And I hope to eventually just collect and harvest my own seeds. And so we plan, we're going to do a whole lot of videos on the seeds and get more planted out there. So, and, and that way we're, we're learning together and growing it together and kind of knowing what not to do and to do as we go. Um, and that's pretty much what a lot of this is, is learning as you go. Because as you do it more, and this is where practice does make perfect, 
um, as you grow practice as you garden more you learn to do it better and you get better at it so you learn the do's and do nots and you can always do your research like I have over gardening and what to do and what not to do I mean in, in a sense it can be science but in a sense it can't be um, especially if it's something you love doing and, you, and you're already good at doing like me um, but I think that's going to be it guys um, we got a lot in store we, we looked at the seedlings seedlings are just looking great you got to say they're looking great um, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like down below, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos. And until next time, guys, keep it real. Keep gardening. Deuces.